Hello readers! It's been a few months, but I want to go ahead and do the Back from Booknet Fest tag. The questions for the original tag were created by Njiri from Onyx Pages, and I will make sure to link to her video in the description below. Number one is describe your experience at Booknet Fest in one word. I think that word for me would be family. Even though I hadn't met a lot of the people that I hung out with that weekend, it still felt like a family reunion. It felt like people I already knew that I hadn't seen in a long time. And we were just kind of picking up where we left off because I have gotten to know people through their videos and on Twitter and Instagram. It just felt like we already knew each other. And so I loved that, that feeling of, hey, it's just great seeing you again. Number two, what was your favorite session and why? One of my favorite sessions was the critical reading and reviewing session. And I believe that was led by Muddy Ness from My Name is Muddy Ness, Alexandra from A Lovely Jaunt, Katie from Chapter Stacks, and Caitlin from Book Chats. Number three, what is one way that attending has contributed to the growth of your booktube experience? I think as a small or new booktuber, it can be difficult getting people interested in your channel. Of course, if you produce great content, people will share it. But sometimes there's this, this hurdle where you feel like if they knew me, maybe they would care right? But getting them to know you can sometimes be the difficult part, except when you're talking in person. It's so easy to get to know someone when you've met them in person. And there's memories now. Now you have these shared memories, these shared experiences. And I think that leads people to be more interested in the content you create if they could already link you to a memory of meeting you, of something you said, of, of you know, some time you had lunch together, or, you know, there's kind of these behind the scene moments that you wouldn't see on your channel that they get to experience with you at an event like Booknet Fest. And so for me, it was that. It was being able to meet a lot of booktubers that I hadn't met before, being able to show them my personality, and then um, building friendships and relationships and networking. I think I gained something like 200 some odd Twitter followers that weekend. And while I'm not saying go to Booknet Fest to increase your subscribers or your follower count, I think those shared experiences are invaluable and it brings something to the community that you won't find talking to a camera. <laughs> Number four, what was the most enjoyable non-bookish activity at Booknet Fest? This year was the first time I decided to get a villa and that proved to be awesome and I will probably be doing that future years. I'm actually not too fond of the in-hotel food and I was hoping to save some money and I kind of wanted to have control over the things I was eating. So we ended up having a full kitchen in the villa and we brought an instant pot and my husband was so awesome. He ended up cooking lunch one time, dinner another time, breakfast another time. And what was so great about that was that I was worried that by deciding to bring our own food and cook in our room that we were going to miss out on social opportunities and actually we didn't at all it, it became a social opportunity because people came over and they ate with us and we hung out and we also played cards against humanity which was super fun so we had a great time number five shout out a few content creators you're excited to meet at booknet fest there were many but the ones that immediately come to mind are rachel ray dragon queen's lair helpful claw dot bookie amiche from amiche reads crystal from the Skeptical Bookworm, Kathy from Kathy Tradehart, Samantha from Leanne's Lit. I got to hang out with a lot of people, but that was a really short list of some of the people that I spent the most time with at Booknet Fest. Number six, if you come back next year, what is one thing you'd like to see different? Because I am a reader and a graphic designer, one of the things that I suggested is maybe having a panel about people that create bookish fan art, whether that's candles or bookmarks or those book boxes. I was really interested in seeing things from that perspective. Number seven, what exciting new initiative is coming up on your channel that you would like Booknet Fest attendees to support? I finally released my announcement video for this and I'll be sure to link to it somewhere. Um, but it is my shelf mastery series where I focus on reducing my anxiety by reading my unread books and not purchasing as many books. This is something that I'm kicking off in 2019, but I've already started taking the steps that I feel will prepare me to, to get that done. I don't plan on reading all of my books in 2019. I think it's gonna be a long process and probably something that I'll have to reevaluate at the end of 2019 to see how I feel, how well I did, what I accomplished. 
but I want that, I definitely want reading my unread books to be what I focus on for 2019. And so if you have unread books that are giving you anxiety, I would love for you to join me so that we can help keep each other accountable. Well, it looks like that's all I got. Sorry I'm so late with this. I'm not really sure who's done it and who hasn't done it. So if I can find a few people, I will be sure to link to them in the description below. If you've attended BookNet Fest in the past or would like to attend in the future, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.